now that we got a very simple web server up and running next we're gonna be able we're gonna want to be able to serve up static files like CSS public JavaScript files because even though the web server is written in JavaScript we can also serve JavaScript files too and use them like you do with the normal web server like you would do with a PHP site or any site really so we're gonna basically so we're gonna create a static file store in this tutorial and then after we do that I'm gonna go over templating which might make that be a separate part or not I'm not sure yet but anyways let's stop talking and let's going let's get going okay so what we're gonna do to create a static file store it's actually really simple um, first thing I'm gonna do I'll go ahead and open up my text editor which I've opened already I'm gonna go create a new file I'm gonna write a uh, CSS file actually so I'm, I'm not I'm not you know I'm, this isn't really CSS tutorial but I'll make a little quick little bit of CSS we're just gonna do back ground colon I don't even know if this will work purple there there's my CSS file now I'm gonna go ahead and save it and I'm gonna go ahead and create a, a new folder I'm gonna go ahead and call it public I spell bad public oh crap I'm a horrible speller there we go this is why we have a Mac well any system really has spell check I'm just gonna do public underscore files is what I normally call it and then we're gonna go ahead and save this as I don't know main.css because I'm assuming this will be my main style sheet can add additional style sheets if I want in my HTML but mm, whatever call it main.css okay now in my node app we're gonna have to go ahead and set this up so before all the routes and everything I'm gonna go ahead and create the file store and um, we're gonna use Express this is a this feature is this feature pretty much depends on Express but we're gonna do app.use then we're gonna go ahead and um, do Express dot static We're going to underscore, I did not type that, underscore, underscore, dir name, so it knows the directory name. And then we're going to append to that, because, you know, it's the directory that the app.js is running inside of. And then we're going to do slash pub like files. And it should work. That looks good. Gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go. So now we don't have to set up a route for this. As long as the, the public files and these routes don't conflict, there shouldn't be a problem. What I normally do, I'll create another directory inside there called assets, but you don't have to, but that's what I do. So see, right now I can't get it, but if I restart the server, it should go ahead and get it. Okay, there's no server issues. See, it just served up my um, body with a background of purple and if I go here you just get hey so this is where we're gonna store our um, CSS files and JavaScript files if we like if we were gonna write something with Ajax on the client we know I would put a dot JS file in there that's gonna be served to the client so those files are to the client they're public files so this is a really short way of doing it in the next tutorial I'm gonna go ahead and show how to do templating.